Hello beautiful people, in this video we are gonna learn what is yum command, what is dnf and the difference between both of them. Okay, so first command is yum. What is yum? Yum's full form is yellow dog updater modified, which is a free and open source command line package management utility for computers running on Linux operating system. Okay, so if you want to install any software in uh, the RPM based systems like Fedora, CentOS and Red Hat. So you can use yum. Okay. And we can use DNF also, but we will discuss that later. Okay. So behind the scenes, what yum does is yum is dependent on RPM that is Red Hat package manager. Okay. So whenever you see a software in Red Hat systems like RPM based systems, okay, so the extension of those software will always be .RPM, okay. So there are two ways to install softwares in RPM based systems. One, you can use RPM command or you can use yum command, okay. So, so yum command is written in Python okay which is like interesting thing okay and yum allows for automatic updates and packages like the only difference between rpm command and yum command is that rpm will allow you to install multiple versions of one software like if you want to install python version 3.6 3.7 3.8 3.9 okay so you can install all of the versions with the rpm command but if you want to install uh, multiple versions of python through yum command it will say that it's already installed and we can't install the version okay so that's the only difference okay so let me show you just some commands uh, like normal commands that mostly are used okay so that is yum repo list that will list all the repositories that we have in this system okay so we have fedora fedora cisco and fedora modular fedora updates and like that okay so the repository name is this okay but where it is stored so it is stored in slash etc slash yum dot repos dot d and if we check ls so we can see all the repositories that are used in this system that is Fedora 33 and there is an interesting thing that Fedora comes with Python's latest version by default so that was not the part of video but I just wanted to share that okay so if we want to check Python version I never installed Python in this system so yeah it comes with the latest stable version of the python okay okay so yum can perform operations such as installing packages deleting packages updating existing installed packages and listing available packages and listing installed packages okay so here is a trick that you can use is if you press if you type yum and then press two times tab key so it will display all the commands that are used with the yum okay so you can use check update for any software or any package okay so package and software are same thing and if you want to group install if you want to take if you want to see any information about any any software okay you can list that you can remove any software you can update that you can see the rep repositories okay so these are all the attributes that are used with the yum command and you can always check the man page of this command okay so right now it's saying that it is redirected to dnf because in fedora the default command is dnf so now i'm gonna discuss what is dnf so a rewrite of yum named dnf is the default package manager for fedora okay so it was first introduced in fedora 22 
and dnf was created to improve on yum in several ways that is improved performances better resolution of dependency conflicts and easier integration with other software applications so it's like an advanced version of dnf like if you see we have a vi editor and a vim editor so vim editor is just the improved version of vi editor and similar to that yum commands update version is the dnf command which is the default command for package management in fedora okay so now what is dnf command dnf or dandified yum okay uh, so dandified okay dandified yum okay it is the next generation version of yellow dog updater modified that is the full form of yum okay and it's a package manager and again it is based on dot rpm based distributions that is fedora centos and red hat so dnf was introduced in fedora 18 in 2013 and it has been the default package manager since fedora 22 and if you see in red hat enterprise linux version 8 the de default package management command is also dnf okay but it's not like that you can't use yum you can use both the commands but the dnf is much more the better version of yum okay so it is written in c c plus plus and python okay so yum had several issues like including poor performance and it uses high memory and the slowness of iterative dependency resolution so these were all of the drawbacks you can say of yum that's why dnf came into the action and dnf uses libsolve that is libsolve an external dependency resolver so that's why its performance is really good and its memory usage is less as compared to yum and you can always type dnf and then double tab okay and there are many possibilities okay so you can see there are many commands used in dnf that is alias auto remove config manager clean provides reinstall remove and there are lots of commands there are 104 commands used in dnf so you can always you know check how it is how it's working or that so if you just press dnf and then enter and you will see list of all the main commands and their usage okay so there is a command with the dnf that is dnf space downgrade which is used to downgrade a package and yeah everything is already in this okay and also you can check the man page of dnf and in linux it's like you need to explore okay so we can't just provide you everything because there is there are a lot of things in linux to learn and you must explore them for by yourself okay that's how you learn linux it's not about spoon feeding okay so that was all about this video and just explore linux okay and if you have any doubt you can always ping me on all the social medias that are in the description box so yeah may the source be with you and remember to practice and explore linux okay see you in the next video